Sox fan back again with another vanilla World of Warcraft Let's Play. I believe this is episode 28, but I'm too lazy to check, so if it's 29, then it's 29, if it's 28, then it's 28, and so on and so forth. Actually, I should probably go ahead and drop Strength of Earth, I'll drop Healing Stream, I'll buff up really quick. I actually, um, I'm going to drink up a little bit. I am currently just south of, nor or actually west of east. I don't know my directions very well. Never eat soggy waffles. Okay, east. I'm currently east of North Watch Hold. And you might be wondering why am I out here? And that's because Isha Awak, I believe that's how you pronounce this beast's name, is currently standing right in front of me. Uh, level 27, but elite. I didn't expect the elite part, so that's going to be um, a little trouble. Hopefully we can manage. I'm going to try and pull it up to shore, because I don't want to deal with the whole breathing thing. Actually, very slow creature. And I'm getting kind of glitched. Glitchy. I don't think I can... No, I don't think this is going to work. Unless I can just stand here like this. Ooh! Ooh! Glitch in the system. Boom, you're dead. I got you now. Let's go first person on this kill. You want some of my frost shock in your face? Boom, right there, you got it. You asked for it. Not really, but I gave it to you anyway. You're welcome. Ooh, earth shock for the kill, and I'm out of ana. mana. <clears throat> Not amna, or whatever the hell I said. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and loot the heart, and ooh, skin bowl. Maybe some medium? Oh yeah, one. You cheap bastard. All right, well. That wasn't a, at all as difficult as I thought, and I believe we turn this back into um, that one chick. So I'm actually going to oh, scroll out or try to anyway. There we go. Don't know why, but when I've been recording with Fraps, it gets a little laggy. I don't know why. It's set to 29, like 0.7 FPS, I think instead of 30, a straight 30, and I think that helps a little too, I don't know, whatever. That was the default setting actually for Fraps, and you might be noticing that the sound, my the sound of my voice is a lot lower, and that's because I lowered the decibel boost on the microphone, because when it's at plus, like, 24, there's just so much, like, staticky feedback, sort of, and it doesn't sound good, so I lowered it to plus 12. There was no in-between, or else I'd do like, I don't know, what's exactly in-between 12 and 24? 18? Yeah, so, couldn't do that. I'd probably put it around like 16 or 14. So, you're just gonna have to turn your computer volume all the way up, and I promise I won't yell very loudly or anything to, like, destroy your eardrums. Anyway, I found this little 18 beast poly on this rock, and I don't know, I don't think it's so rare, but I think it's uh, pretty amusing that it's there. I'm gonna kill it anyway. Because I'm a jerk. And I'm gonna see if it drops anything interesting. a dead bird. Oh well. Uh, I'll go ahead and just swim across like this. So, I don't know if you guys have seen, I posted two new episodes of the Assassin's Creed Let's Play, and I say my advice to you, unless you want to help me out with the ads or anything, I just say skip them. I was contemplating on deleting them, but I thought, nah, I went through the whole effort anyway. I'll just do it. Because, I'll tell you why in a second, I'm going to turn this what question real quickly. Uh, so you want to go to this little shack across from Frey Island. I actually probably won't ever go there. I don't think I get a quest to. Um, it's a big warrior quest hub. Sort of like how shamans every 10 levels go to get their totems. Warriors go there to get their new stances, I believe. Ah, Berserker stance, probably not defensive stance. I'm not sure, though. 
So, we get to choose between these two rewards. We also get this Beastmaster's Girdle, which is super nice, because it's Adji and Stam. And I actually have a pretty nice shield already. Three Stam, eight Spirit, five Spirit, one Int. That's actually looking a lot better. I don't know. I know I can't, I have no use for wands, so I won't get yeah. that. We also get a buff, but we didn't get the buff. Probably a glitch because of it's a Predator Arena. So, I'll go ahead and equip that. Plus, it's leather, so that's nice. Uh huh. That int is probably better than the stam I'll get, but Frost Resistance, I don't know. It's a blue, so I'll keep this too, just in case. Down there. I actually don't know what else I had planned for this episode because I still haven't ran through Shadow Fang Keep, so that's still not that episode is still in production, I guess. I haven't I've ran it at least five times and every single time I've healed unsuccessfully and that's why I haven't been able to make the episode yet. Um, and I don't have enough money. Five gold. It costs five gold to respec. Actually, oh, that's why. I was elemental. I respect once already. I think it was like five silver. Now the cost is five gold. And I'm like, oh, are you kidding me? That is too much money. So now I'm just going to stay enhancement. And I'm going to try and do SFK if I can. But if I can't, I apologize. But I'm going to try anyway. I've been spamming the chat. And so far, no luck. Actually, one guy uh, whispered me, and uh, just a little shout out to this guy, Grilled. He's a warrior, 19. Undead, the best kind of warrior. Actually, they're my favorite class. If they were shamans, I would be an undead shaman, probably. Uh, and he asked me if I did Let's Plays, and I said yes, and he said cool, and I said thank you. So, that was that little conversation. The Sacred Flame. Sacred Flame. Okay, return to Phil Detchard. File to Zangren Stonehoof, the Galaxy Tarn, the Thousand Needles. Oh, that's too far. Actually, both of these are Thousand Needles quests. Steel Snap, though, is around level 30, I believe. So I can't do that just yet. But I guess I could try and do the other quest. Um, I'm just going to cut away. Obviously, I can't. I can't run all the way to Thousand Needles. You would fall asleep. You wouldn't fall asleep. Well, you might fall asleep. That'd be a waste of an episode, though. It'd be like five minutes of me just talking about nonsense. So, I will see you guys in one second. Hey, guys. I know I'm... Oh, shit. I know I'm not uh, back at... Um, I'm not in the Thousand Needles yet. This is just a little heads up that I went back and I fixed my mic volume because when I turned it back up and, and started testing some stuff out, uh, the feedback actually was kind of non-existent so I turn it back up to like plus 24 decibels so this is just I'm talking in a quiet voice so that um, I don't talk really loud and explode your eardrums if the volume is at full on your computer so uh, just uh, go ahead and turn down the volume okay again I'll be right hey back. everyone so I kind of goofed and lied to you apparently the sacred flame quest is located in Ashenvale, not Thousand Needles, and I misread the text completely, the, the quest description. So I'm going to be weaving my way through here. Um, let me tell you where I am, actually. I flew to Splinter Tree Post because I had previously ran Black Fathom Deeps, and I actually, do I have, I don't think I have Zormgar Outpost Flight Path, but I do have the one for Splinter Tree Post. So I just flew to Splinter Tree. Uh, ran across the river here, and actually the quest, I believe it spe specifies we have to go to the Rainwood, Rainwood Retreat. Ah, get away from me. Ah, oh, shoot. Too many bears. Alright, so... Oh, dang, son. There's a lot of bears attacking me. I just hope I can outrun them. Uh, let's see. To collect the water, you will first need to obtain one of the files carried by the dryads near the Rainwood Retweet, retreat, not retweet. This is not Twitter, this is World of Warcraft. So we will go to the rain. Oh shoot, that guy's, what is he doing? Venom spit? Spitting venom at me? How dare you? 
and it inflicts nature damage? Oh, how devil dare you. So... Let me see. Oh, snap. You flew right by me. Okay, I need to find some dryads. And fast. Oh, there's a laughing sister. Maybe that's who I'm supposed to kill. Are, is she a dryad? Oh, looks like it. Alright. I really don't know what a dryad is. I believe it's the me fe female version of a centaur, actually. But I could be mistaken. Why are you not attacking? Death. Oh my, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me right now? Okay, let me just run back up here. And I will loot the booty. And my booty, I mean body. JK, that was a joke I made on purpose. Alright, fill the etched file at the Ashenvale Moonwell. I have no idea where that is, guys, so I'm going to cut away, and I will get back to you when I find out where it is. So, again, I will see you in a few All seconds. Alright, guys, so I am back at the Moonwell. This is it. I found it. Basically, uh, this is the general path that I took. I flew to Splinter Tree Post. So this is this right here. And then I went whoop, and then I went whoop, and I was right here, Rainwood. I killed uh, Laughing Sister, Dryad. Uh, the first one I killed dropped it, so that's cool. And I ran up here thinking this was the Moonwell. This is not the Moonwell. This is a bunch of, I forget what they're called, the, the satyrs. Uh, so then I jumped off, and I ran along the shore, and right here where I'm at is the Moonwell. So if you want to get the coordinates, I believe the coordinates are like 60, 72 or something. Uh, anyway, I will go ahead and fill the etched file, which I believe that's a silly name for a for a vial. They could have said like vial or vase or something, and now I just realized I said vase like a pretentious douche. So that's basically it. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and cut back to uh, Thunder Bluff is where the quest is. So I will see you guys back at Thunder Bluff. All right, guys. So I'm back here at Thunder Bluff with Zeng and Stonehoof, and we will turn this in. I want to mention really quickly. I went ahead and off screen I did the quest Ashenvale Outrunners. I had to kill nine different mobs. They weren't too bad. They have like a two second stun and like a twenty second sort of debuff called like Scorpid Sting or something like that. I didn't really check what it did because it was just, you know, non, not, uh, it was a non-factor, and that didn't really level me up. 97%? Oh, uh, so close. Okay, so the next part of this quest for the Sacred Flame is probably red. Um, oh, it's orange. It wants us to deliver it to Rao Cliff Runner at Free Wind Post. So... I won't be doing that in this episode because I've run out of time, unfortunately. So, in the next episode, I hope you guys will join me on my adventure. I'm not quite there yet. I'm about a... Well, more than a quarter of a way. 25, that's pretty good. Once I hit 30, I'll be about halfway. That is a big step. I don't think I've ever actually gotten this close to completing a Let's Play before. Because I've only done two or three in my life. So, guys, next time, I will probably be going to free wind post in the thousand needles or something i don't know until then guys stay classy and keep it sleazy